Next is stationary waves in closed pipe. Closed pipes are open at, at one end, this is open end, and close at other end. And we have already discussed that at close end, nodes are formed, while at open end, empty nodes are formed. So when wave is set up in closed argon pipe, then after reflection, incident and reflection waves get superimposed and forms a stationary wave. And simplest case is the one in which one anti node and one node are formed. The length of the closed pipe is suppose L, then distance between nodes and anti nodes will be lambda 1 by 4 if lambda 1 is the wavelength in this case. So we can write that lambda 1 by 4. This is the distance between the successive node and anti-node and it is equal to the length of the closed pipe. So wavelength of the wave is 4L then frequency F1 will be equal to V by lambda 1 and that is equal to V by 4L. This is the equation number 1 and this frequency is called the fundamental frequency or first harmonic. Another case is one in which a wave is set up in this in such a way that between node and anti node there is one more node and anti node and this occurs alternatively. So wave setup will be as shown in the figure this is anti node and this is node. So if we measure the distance in terms of the wavelength, this wavelength is lambda 2 by 4. If lambda 2 is the wavelength in second case and the distance between two successive nodes is lambda 2 by 2. So it means lambda 2 by 4 plus lambda 2 by 2 will equal to the length of the closed pipe or we can say this is the lambda 2 by 2. So on adding we will have 3 lambda 2 by 4 that is equal to L or lambda 2 equal to 4 L by 3. Therefore frequency in second case is F2 equal to 1 V by lambda 2 that is equal to V by 4 L by 3 and it can be written as 3 into V by 4 L and it is three times of the fundamental frequency. So this frequency is called the third harmonic because it is third time of the fundamental frequency or three times of the fundamental frequency. Further if we take a case in which one more loop is inserted and the shape of the stationary wave will be the form at open end there will be always an anti node and at close end there will be a node and nodes and anti nodes occurs alternatively so shape will be approximately in this way. So this is node, this is also node and in between there is an anti node. So it means now this distance is lambda 3 by 4 if lambda 3 is the wavelength in this case. Distance between two successive nodes is lambda 3 by 2 and again the distance is lambda 3 by 2. So we can say that lambda 3 by 4 plus lambda 3 by 2 plus lambda 3 by 2 and it will be the length of the tube. On adding we will have 5 into lambda 3 by 4 that is equal to L and wavelength in this third case will be 4 L by 5. So frequency will be V by lambda 3 that is equal to V by 4 L by 5 that is equal to 5 into V by 4 L. So we can write F3 equal to 5 into F1. This is called the fifth harmonic. This implies that only odd harmonics exist in closed pipe. Next is stationary waves in open pipe. Open pipe have both the end open and we know that at open end there will be always an anti node. So simplest case will be anti nodes at the open end and a node 
in between. So if length of the tube is L and these two antinodes are at succession, so distance between them will be half of wavelength that is lambda 1 by 2. Therefore comparing we can say that lambda 1 by 2 equal to L or lambda 1 equal to 2L. Hence the frequency in this case will be V by lambda 1 that is equal to V by 2L. This is the first case and this is the fundamental frequency or we can say it is first harmonic. In second case, the standing wave may form two nodes in between. For example, if we draw the figure, the situation is at open end there is antinode and nodes and antinodes occur alternatively. Therefore, the length of the tube comprises the three antinodes and two nodes. That means the distance between them is lambda 2 by 2 and again between two antinodes it is lambda 2 by 2. That means lambda 2 by 2 plus lambda 2 by 2 will be equal to L. Adding this will give lambda 2 that is equal to L. So F2 will be equal to V by lambda 2 this is 1 that is equal to V by L or we can write it is 2 into V by 2L that is 2 into F1 because V by 2L is the F1. Therefore, we can say it is the second harmonic. Similarly, further we can have a wave which contains three nodes that means at open end there will be always a anti node and in between there are the two loops and at open end this is anti node so it is anti node in between this is node then node in between anti node and then node so it means this have if we dis take the distance between two anti node it is lambda 3 by 3 so there are the such three cases which has length lambda 3 by 2 and this comprises the length of the tube so l will be equal to lambda 3 by 2 plus lambda 3 by 2 plus lambda 3 by 2 that means l is equal to 3 into lambda 3 by 2 or lambda 3 is equal to 2 l by 3 therefore f3 will be equal to v by lambda 3 that is equal to v by 2 l by 3 or we can write it is 3 into v by 2 l because v by 2 l is f1 so this implies that f3 is equal to 3 f1 so the third harmonic exists in a open pipe therefore we can conclude that the frequency f1 f2 f3 and so on comprises 1 to 2 to 3 ratio and so on and in open pipe both odd and even harmonics exists. Let's take some example. 